Chris Rock. I know. I haven't seen any shows since COVID. Has anybody been like, throw your mask in the air? No. And wave it around like you And wave it like you just don't care. Ow. Where's my anti-vaxxers at? Where you at? Where you at? Dumb Kyrie mother... Legendary comedian Chris Rock has had enough. Soon, Janine was struggling to breathe, so they rushed her to the hospital. I remember being very desperate, grabbing the mask, and, and then feeling, you know, the oxygen come in. Janine spent nine days in the hospital, six of them in the ICU. It feels like you have a, a Ziploc bag over your head and somebody's holding it. So there was some trepidation among many people in the black community in particular about taking the vaccine. I'm gonna put it this way. Do I take Tylenol when I get a headache? Yes. Do I know what's in Tylenol? I don't know what's in Tylenol, Gail. I just know my headache's gone. Do I know what's in a Big Mac, Gail? No. I just know it's delicious. <laughs> Do all beef patty yeah. sauce and sauce and <laughs> I don't know what's in that sauce, Gail. <laughs> and puts vaccine hesitancy quite eloquently to the masses on CBS Sunday morning. It is just a shot. Just get the stupid shot. Did anyone you know get COVID? My son had COVID. How old is he? Eight. Sick a lot. He's been sick a lot for a while and he's still sick. You guys gonna get the vaccine? No, okay. no vaccine. How come? I just don't trust the government. And it is this fraction of America that continues to impede our process in getting out of the pandemic. Stephen Harmon, a man who mocked the COVID vaccines continuously on his social media channels, even writing got 99 problems, but a vax ain't one, recently passed away from the coronavirus. He was 34 years old. These stories are not new. YouTube influencers in France and Germany have been offered money by a strange PR company if they falsely tell their followers that the Pfizer vaccine is responsible for hundreds of deaths. They are a saddening tale of vaccine hesitancy driven by misinformation continued stateside by the Republican Party led by Donald Trump. A New York Times investigation found conservative voters from one county to the next refused the jab. In sports, the National Football League essentially threw their arms up and said to hell with testing the vaccinated. They must now self-report because finishing the season in the name of profits is the end goal. The National Basketball Association has been dealing dealing with an outbreak for weeks. As of this taping, over 115 players entered COVID health and safety protocols. However, rarely do we get an inside look at NBA locker rooms and how the players feel. That's where this goat, Austin Rivers comes in, former Duke guard and NBA veteran. And let me tell you, he spilled the freaking tea. Rivers rolls his eyes when he hears conspiracy theories in the locker room, effing wild theories. The one about Moderna mind control again. And then the fake news about Joe Biden and Big Pharma in bed with the Illuminati for millions. One player on the Denver Nuggets, who we know remains unvaccinated and proud, is Michael Porter Jr. Days before the season resumed in the NBA bubble, MPJ said in a Snapchat Q&A, personally, I think that the coronavirus is being used obviously for a bigger agenda. It's being used for population control in just terms of being able to control the masses of people. He added, I've never been vaccinated in my life. I've never had any shots or anything like that, he said. This is almost certainly not true, wrote Royce Young. In order to attend Missouri, Porter's college of choice, all students are required to comply with the two-dose MMR immunization policy, meaning that they either need to have received the vaccine that protects against measles, mumps, and rubella, or be able to prove that they are immune to those diseases. It's all for money, Rivers recalls hearing a fellow player say. How is it for money? It's effing free. This falls in line with other conspiracies like Brooklyn Nets anti-vaxxer Kyrie Irving. According to Rolling Stone, Irving, who has a past filled with conspiracy theories, has reportedly been liking social media posts regarding secret societies that are implanting vaccines in a plot to connect black people to a master computer for a plan of Satan. This false theory has spread to several different locker rooms and group chats, more than a dozen current players, executives, and others said. Orlando Magic big man Jonathan Isaac was also on this bandwagon. Isaac started studying black history and watching Donald Trump's press conferences. He learned about antibody resistance and came to distrust Dr. Anthony Fauci. He looked out for people who might die from the vaccine and he put faith in God. It may be wild, but unfortunately, it's the harsh reality for some misinformation campaigns that target and attach themselves 
to those in positions of power. If you'd like to hear more thought-provoking content like TYT Sports on Facebook and to help in my journey to keep media independent, go to tyt.com Rick.